know. Haruka? It seems like there's some signal interference. An earthquake? This far down? Yuito! Are you okay? That was Hanabi. Let's hurry. Say something, Yuito! Hanabi! What happened? Where's Karin? Kasane! He attacked and captured everyone, but then Yuito started screaming in pain. We were all hacked by Arahabaki. I think something must have happened to Yuito when we were dealing with that. Afterwards, Karin activated some power and disappeared. Kasane, do you have any idea about that? What are we going to do? He used the red strings. I don't know what Major General Karin did, but it's clear that it had some adverse effect on Yuito's brain. But his brain is already... He's exhibited signs of speech and memory impairment before, but never to this extent. He went to the hospital, but they said it was only exhaustion. Wait! Yuito, we're right here. No! He can't hear us. Then we'll brain talk directly to his mind. Yuito! What is this? I can't get connected. Is there something wrong with the system? I don't think so. The brain talk system allows thought communication after both parties recognize and grant each other access. I can't be certain, but Yuito's consciousness may be starting to disappear. So this could lead to severe memory loss? As much as I hate to say it, Yuito might lose all his memories. Then what'll happen to Yuito? It could be said that memories make up the person. If they're all lost, it would be like that person just disappeared. No, that can't happen. Then we'll just have to reestablish the connections. Reestablish? What do you mean? We can digitize our memories and send them into Yuito. It should be possible with the SAS. That's crazy. There's no way that'll work. No, actually, it might. Personality rehabilitation research has proposed a theory for transplanting memories. Okay. okay. Tell me everything, Tell me everything you, know. you know. I'll program, I'll program whatever, whatever we need. Wait, Wait, you're going to do that do right that now? now? Of, course. of course. Who do you think, I, do you think am? I am? Although I can't Although say, I can't it, say won't it won't be without difficulties. I'll do what I can, can if it means any need to. We'll get over any difficulties. No hesitation. Not even for a second. That's what I like to see. Very nice. His brain might die if we don't do something. We can't, we can't lose, lose Yuito, Yuito. especially if we have a plan on taking care, care of the red strings in the Kunat Gate. Hanabi, don't stop, don't stop talking, talking to him until, until we're ready. ready. External, External stimulation will be able to delay, delay memory loss to a certain extent. Okay, Yuito! Hey, Yuito! Okay, the program's ready. ready. This should work. This should work. Luca, Luca, I hope you're I right. right. Already? Man, Man, you're fast when you actually try. Wait, 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 let me let take me a look at the program, program too. too. Dr. Pope's, Dr. Pope's memory, memory should help. help. Well, isn't that convenient? Okay, I'd be honored I'd to be have my work checked, checked by a great, by great, by a great pioneer. pioneer. This isn't, this isn't enough. enough. A memory, a memory is first, first formed when information, information is memorized, memorized retained, and then recalled. Of course, how could I forget it? You see, so that's how it works. Impressive, Dr. Pope. We don't know Yuito's brain framework. We need to we need choose, to the, choose right the right memory region, region to input new information, information or... or... Whoa. Whoa, I gotta, I gotta say, say, I didn't, I didn't imagine, imagine this would actually, would actually come, come in handy. handy. It's, not, it's exactly not exactly detailed, detailed but, but here's a here's scan of Yuito's, Yuito's brain. brain. What? what? Why do you Why have, have something, something like that? that? You, guys you guys were connected to that data, data terminal in Togetsu, right? They were secretly recording your information there. So that's what that terminal was intended to do. Don't worry. Don't worry. I realized, I realized what they were doing and deleted the data. I mean, I did keep a copy for myself. And again, oh, yeah. you didn't you tell, didn't tell us. us. Well, well, thank you. Thank you. Now we'll now be able we'll to be set, able the set the correct memory, memory region. region. I used I my clairvoyance to check. These designated coordinates match with the abnormal region. region. If that's what Sagumi saw, it must be right. Now we just have to run it. Stay still! 
damn it. Damn it. No anesthesiologist, but I got the job done. This should make it easier. Drastic time scale for drastic measures. Gemma, could you use your power to secure Yuito in place? I see it. To connect the SAS cable. Will this do? Perfect. Okay, everyone. I'm connecting the SAS cable. I'll run the program when it's connected. You guys just start thinking about memories you have of you. All right. Okay. Here goes nothing. Are reacting to his vanishing memories. And that's what's subconsciously triggering his power? So, what does that even mean? It means we most likely succeeded. We did it. But he's not waking up. That's because she knocked him out. Go on and wake him up. Okay, I'm getting him up. Impossible. Impossible. I'm an expert, I'm an expert on electricity. electricity. I wouldn't make, I wouldn't a, mistake. make a mistake. But, but Yuito's, Yuito's body, body it's, it's getting colder by the second. second. Is he losing, Is he losing body, heat? body heat? If it keeps, it keeps up, he'll go into hypothermic shock. 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 No. no. You're not, You're dying, not dying today. today. Hanabi, wait. wait. What are you doing? Are you, doing? Are you increasing your own body temperature with your power? That's a lot of sweat. Stop! Stop! Forcing, forcing your temperature, temperature up, like, up that. like that, your body your won't body be able to withstand, able to withstand it. it. It's okay. It's okay. I can handle it. it. Compared to the pain and suffering he's been through, this is, this nothing. is nothing. Come on, come Yuito. Come on, Yuito. Please, Please come back. Come back. <sighs> Yuito, Yuito, help me. Help me. Yuito. Yuito. Hey, hey, Yuito. Yuito. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> 
Are you okay? Do you have a headache or feel nauseous? I think I'm fine. What happened? Do you remember being attacked by my brother? Yeah. Then the Maki invaded my mind, and I was forced to use my power. What happened after that? So I could have lost everything. Which means the memories I have now are the connections you made for me. Thanks. Is there anything you can remember? I have my memories, and my body feels fine. If you have your memories, does that mean you have old memories as well? Even memories from before you What? Yeah, I do. Although, it's kind of strange that I'd have old memories if they all had to come from you guys. So, does that mean we were able to restore the memories beyond our own? Or is it simply luck that they weren't erased? Wait, when we all connected through the SAS, it felt like it was a transmission from an external server. Were you storing your past memories on one? No, no. Why did I do that? What do you even mean? I see. Well, what was that? I have a feeling it was something to do with Yuito's restored old memories. It doesn't make sense that he has all his old memories back if all we did was give him ours. There is a lot to think about, but I believe it's time we leave. It's dangerous to stay here. You're right. Can you move me to Yeah, I'm okay. Kasane, you're all coming too? Yes. We have no business with our Havaki. I'm glad you're okay. Now let's get out of here. Verified information, my ass. You can't trick us anymore. Everyone, please calm down. Do not leave your domiciles without permission. The government was tricking us. Who's going to believe you now? There's more confusion than I thought. People were already on edge after Seiron's rebellion. Their reaction is completely warranted after being shown a video like that. I'm assuming you all saw the video as well. Yeah, we did. 
A lot of it was information we learned in Togetsu, but it carried more weight coming from the Chief. We used Arahabaki knowing this would happen. I don't regret anything I've done. But to live with what we did, we need to change New Himuka. Someone is coming. An enemy? What? I don't believe it. Good. Finally. I've been looking for you. Major General Shibuki! I've been worried about you. We haven't seen each other since the old OSF hospital. Karin saved me at the last second. Next thing I noticed, Saron had taken me in. Saron? I'm glad you're alive, but it looks like you're hurt. Are you okay? Nothing to worry about. More importantly, there's something I need to tell you to. Me? Togetsu has sent people after me. We managed to drive them off because we noticed their movements early enough. But there could be more next time. I want you to be careful. Wait. The whole Togetsu detachment? You took them out by yourself? I just talked. It was the Seiron forces that did the actual fighting. You got Seiron to take action? You act like that's not even a big deal. Just how in the world did you manage to even do that? I was afraid they'd not only be after Kasane, but Yuito as well. Anyway, we're finally together again. I'm sure we all have a lot to discuss, so why don't we go back to the hideout? Are you in any condition to walk? You look pretty haggard. Perhaps I'm a little sleep deprived. The rest is not exactly an option right now. We should get somewhere safe. And... Major General! Are you okay? Don't cause a scene or you'll gather attention. We should all go back to my hideout to give Major General Fubuki some much needed rest. Thanks for having us. Wow. So this is your guys' hideout. Is it the same type of unit we use? The make looks identical. How is the Major General? I gave him first aid. The sedative seems to have worked, so he is resting. Looks like he overused his power. You could see the exhaustion in his face. We should let him rest. Don't worry, he's not in any real danger. He's a lot tougher than he looks. That's good. I guess we need to wait to talk to him. So, are you guys okay sharing this hideout with everyone? It's going to be a little crowded. That would be convenient. We should sort our belongings then. Kagura, what are you going to do about Yuito? I think it's probably best we decide on something. Oh, you're going to bring that up. I guess that makes sense. I promise you I'm giving it some thought. Just give me a little more time. So I can't afford to skip. I didn't know you helped out. I suppose I could do a little working out too. What? Nobody's here. Does that mean he intended to come here and then turn invisible? That's strange. Haruka, you have a second? I don't see Kagura. Do you know where he went? 
What? What? You can't, you can't see him? See him? Did, he... Did he? Do you have an idea where he is? Copying all the ladies himself in front of the girls. But when it's a group of guys, he gets really inappropriate. He was talking with my brother about some perverted situations involving his invisibility, and I was even more mortified. Something about being able to keep in the shower room while in my face. That's disgusting. Well, wow. I don't think it was safe. And I don't do that in the I'll go check, I'll go check his check GPS location. Huh? Huh? This coordinate is outside. He left the compound and is on the wrong route. It looks like he's heading toward the most of the gallery. Why is it going there? I don't know. Maybe taking a walk? Hmm. I should go should check it out. Okay, be careful. According to the pilot, Agaro should be around the There he is. Doesn't look like anything is wrong. Maybe she was better than just taking a walk. Hey, now, am I really that bad at this level? I guess I am. You notice I was here? I didn't follow you because I was suspicious. I was just a little worried. Either way, you're right about the trust, considering everything I've done up till now. So why did you lie to Kami? Oh, I was Sometimes I just want to be alone for me. And this was just one of those times. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. At the very least, you're not like your usual self. Is something wrong? Hey, why do you go on moving? Where did that come from? I don't understand the question. Your beloved sister Naomi died, right? I'm asking you how you can still go on living. What's your motivation? It's already been 2,000 years. 2,000 years that I've lived in the world without my God. Can you imagine how it's even like? I'm just empty. I've lived this long to protect my daughter's existence. But once I do that, I don't have a reason to live. When I look back at that moon, I feel hate, nostalgia, all sorts of things. But now, I feel nothing. It's like I'm already half dead. I guess that's what it means to lose the people we love. Is it different for you? I'm not empty. I'm only alive now because my sister protected me. That's why I can't let my life go to waste. I have to live on. For her. For her. Because, because I lost, I my, lost sister, my sister, I have to I live have to, to make sure that tragedy never happens, never happens again. again. Young people can be so positive. You're an old You're man who's lived for 2,000 years. years. If you've got you've time got to feel sorry for yourself, why don't you why do something you meaningful? meaningful? If you feel if like you your life is empty, empty, then use the time, use the time you have to think about how to fill it. Don't call me an old man. Kids these days are so harsh. Did you really need to say all that? This is all just a joke, Jim. Don't put it like that. This is my style. Feel the emptiness, you know? You know, getting left behind by time really sucks. It's a lot harder than you can imagine. I came all the way out here because I didn't want you to see me down like this. I'm so vain. Yes, very lame. Your daughter, Your daughter would think so, too. Now that's really depressing. Fine. It's time to bust out the super cool combo to win back you and my daughter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on them. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look like I'm spreading up to spy on people? It's because, it's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh? Thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool-headed. Sharing your words with me. 
all of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, like my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point. I'll give him that. It's true it's that true I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh, right, I haven't told you yet. It's about, it's about Nagi. Nagi. He's dead. He's dead. What? what? Nagi? Nagi? You mean you that Nagi? Nagi? What happened? What happened? He, was he was subjected to the government's, to the government's personality, personality rehabilitation. rehabilitation. And, and, well, he attacked, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. brain. I thought there was something, there was something I could do for him. A way to bring him back. back. But I was too, was late. too late. I couldn't I save him. him. I can't even can't imagine how hard that must have been. For you and me. He... He was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got back into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with me. I'd imagine that he would still find himself involved if he joined the USS. But if he hadn't he become, become friends with me, then the chance the of this happening, happening would have been much, been much lower. lower. It's my it's fault he lost his life. life. Nagi, Nagi was his own was person. He made his he made own choices. Own. He wasn't he an wasn't extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt. But I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship to be denied. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined the OSS, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain time to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet in the relationship we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better, I feel better too. too. We should have we another talk like this soon. soon. We're back We're on the same team again. As long as, as, long as it has some meaning? Sure. sure. I don't really I don't like really small talk. Like <laughs> That's, That's fair enough. enough. Looks like Looks you're like still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together, together again. again. Yes, yes. Me too. Me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. I have a long, I have a long way, to way to go. It's painfully, it's painfully obvious when I find alongside you. you. I don't think we're that different. That actually, that actually might, might be, be true, true, but there's a whole there's lot, a whole lot I need to learn. To learn. You helped me, me see some parts of myself I couldn't I see on my own. own. In any case, you really want me to get better. My impression for change. Maybe I didn't understand it, but I don't know what your idea was, but yes, I suppose we understand each other from a lesson before. Hmm, you really are cool, Sunny. Cool. You were even standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those other cars. I wish I could do that. It's not really likely to say this. But I can't help but admire you. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were at the dead, you didn't really talk to anyone besides me. That's true. It's because I didn't find it. I see. But when I think about those times, I'm glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone who can really rely on. Alright, 
Hanabi, about before. I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been thinking about them. I finally understand what you're doing. So I want to help with your dream. What? What do you mean? Yes, I mean, you like your dream. Now you agree to it. 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 Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane, I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier or as a person. You said it before. It's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important? is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. Hmm. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well... I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. I'm going to be someone you can count on. I'm always counting on you. And you can always count on me. This 
is nice. We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. You've opened up to me more. That makes me so happy. It might sound like I'm exaggerating a little, but it really is easy to talk to you. What are you doing, Kasane? What do you mean? Could you be more specific? Like physically? No, never mind. It's not a big deal. Do you remember the other day when I asked you how you were doing? Yes. What was that about? I'm sorry for the strange question. I just didn't know what to say to a young person. I only wanted to know how you were doing. If everything's okay, then that's good. You're a trustworthy individual. I know that now. That's an honor coming from a veteran like yourself. You're an intriguing person, Kasane. I apologize if that sounds strange. I meant it as praise. It didn't bother me. I'm glad. That practicality may be your greatest merit. <laughs> 